am Danny Surname and I am a person of my own kind as many people are out there but I have spent most of my life being told that I am strange, weird, extra weird and generally just different from most people and while maybe I am just a little bit different I like that I am weird and proud and to celebrate that weird innate quality that I and you probably have I thought I would share with you today the quirks that make me individual the little things that I do that yeah are a bit weird I made a list okay right the first one is I only speak on the right side of my face this is something that I only noticed when I started doing YouTube and I started editing and looking at my own face speaking a lot I only move this side of my face obviously I move all of my lips but if you look really closely whenever I speak I move with the right side of my mouth more than the left side and when I've mentioned this to other people they don't notice at all which is great because it really bugs me next time I'm speaking and I'm not thinking about it because I'm thinking about it right now have a look and this side of my mouth moves more than this side does I keep meaning to look at other people when they speak and see if it's the same for them I'll do that the next one you know those little touch screens that you get on laptops that you scroll like this well I constantly rub my finger when I'm using those I absentmindedly rub my forefinger and thumb together when I've stopped scrolling and I don't know why I don't even know that I'm doing it I didn't know that I was doing it until Babe pointed it out and said you continuously rub your finger every time you stop scrolling and now every once in a while I catch myself doing this and I'm like why my finger is clean it does not need to be rubbed clean also when I'm at a laptop or computer I have to take all of my wrist to tire off I know I'm not wearing anything today but usually you know I have my watch on I have my mala I have bands on and I just like them because they make me look cool but whenever I sit at a computer I can't type when I have things on my wrists and I think it's the whole table thing if I'm wearing a watch it always rides up against the table and clips and it just gets in the way but whenever I'm typing those have to go okay the next thing is from my childhood and sounds really really weird but whenever I go to the bathroom I always cover my ears when I flush well not always it's only ever at night but when I'm trying to be quiet I cover my ears because when I was a kid I thought that if I covered my ears and couldn't hear the sound of the toilet flushing then nobody else could which is clearly a nonsensical piece of logic but that is something that I still do to this day if it's dark and I'm flushing the toilet I'm gonna cover my ears because I think that'll stop everybody else from hearing it and not wake them up and if I'm carrying something in one hand like I'm picking my phone back up I will cover my right or left ear just one hand and try to do this when I'm in the shower I do this if I'm in a shower no matter how big the range of the water is I have to sway from side to side to make sure that my shoulders don't get cold and I put my hands up like this and then I'm all nice and lovely and warm I need to ask a question do most people when they're taking a shower face the wall or do you face out of the shower? in movies and stuff actors always face the wall but I face outwards towards the rest of the bathroom in case somebody comes in do you face the wall or do you face out into the bathroom? tell me in the comment section below because that's a that's a thing that I've been meaning to ask people and if you speak on a side of your face let me know that too let's have a little survey I am a big fan of bacon as a lot of people are as my whole family is and most of tumblr but whenever I eat bacon regardless of how nice and neatly I've eaten it I have to wash my face I hate the feeling of grease around my lips and if I've just had bacon even if there's no grease on my face I need to wash all of my face and not just this bit all of it which is why I never eat bacon if I'm wearing makeup because then that's just a ruined enterprise but yeah again that's the thing that comes from my childhood I used to be really obsessive about grease and dirt and germs and I used to wash my face and hands all of the time repeatedly there were some obsessive tendencies in there and the only thing that I still do is the bacon thing if I'm eating something greasy I have to wash my face and sometimes I can get away with it sometimes I'm like I don't need to wash my face I'm okay but then other times I'm like oh, I can't continue with my day with grease on my face I need to wash it off that's also why I'm very pedantic about lipstick it has to be inside my lips if it goes outside then it feels greasy and it needs to come off 
Whenever I eat crisps, and if you know me in real life, this is a true thing. Whenever I eat crisps, I always open the packets upside down and it drives babe crazy. It's not something I do on purpose, it just happens. I think subconsciously I must be looking to pick up the packet upside down because I know that it's gonna annoy people, but I don't actively try to do it. It just happens every time I open a packet, all the words are upside down and people look at me like, ugh. Another thing that I do that is a conscious thing to try and annoy people is eating Kit Kats across rather than in single bars. There was this one time when I was really, really hungry and I got a Kit Kat, it was one of them fours, and I just didn't want to wait so I just ate it like this. Rather than taking the single bars and eating them. And people looked at me and they were like, what are you doing? Stop, eat them in single bars. And I was like, I'm too hungry to do that. I need to just eat. And now ever since then, it has been an active choice to try and annoy people by eating the bars in the wrong way. It's one of those little, slightly cruel things that I do just to wind people up. I don't often try to get on people's nerves, but when I do, it's for stupid reasons. And the last quirk, the last thing that makes me individually weird is interesting. I grind my teeth in my sleep, which is something a lot of people do, but alongside of grinding my teeth, I ask questions in my sleep. I don't just talk, I ask questions. And I only really know that I've done it if I'm beside someone. If I wake up in the morning and babe goes, you asked me some weird stuff last night. So apparently I'm a sleep interrogator. The weirdest question that I've ever asked was, were the cows hairless? I had been doing a biology paper on hairless and hairy cows and genetics and it seeped into my dreams and I turn around and ask babe if the cows were hairless. I have no memory of doing that whatsoever. So there you go, there's a bunch load of things about me. Little quirks. If you have any quirks that make you individual and weird, be proud and leave them in the comment section below. Let's be quirky together. Give me an ego boost, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.